uh, that they are misrepresenting my record. Uh, I'm just not going to, I feel sorry sometimes for the young people who, you know, believe this. Right. Uh, they don't do their own research. And uh, I'm glad that we now can point to uh, reliable, independent analysis to say, no, it's just not true. Will you pledge to stop taking money from fossil fuel lobbyists? I don't think I do, but no, you definitely do. Let me get close to that. Do you have one hundred and fifty thousand dollars in fossil fuel lobbyists? Will you pledge to stop taking money from fossil fuel lobbyists? I'm going to pledge to stop fossil fuel. That's a lot better. No, I mean, no, I mean, that's not. I'm sorry, I, I didn't, didn't quite follow you. On the campaign trail, Senator Sanders often refers to a fundraiser in January that was hosted by executives from a firm that's invested significantly in domestic fracking. Do you have any comment on that? I, I don't have any comment. I don't. I don't know that. I don't uh, believe that there's any reason uh, to be concerned about it. I, I, not me, not me, not not sight of <laughs> Hillary Clinton uh, was the guest of honor at a $575 per plate luncheon. Uh, not too surprising there, given her reliance on uh, corporate money and super PAC money. However, what makes this particular lunch stand out is that it was put together by a woman representing an organization that is heavily invested in fracking. Hi. Now to me, now to me, that's not, that's not. Now to me, sign them all, now to me. But wait, there's more. The United States will promote the use of shale gas. Now, I know that in some places is controversial. That's not snap, snap, green, green, wink, wink, sign them all. <laughs> but natural gas is the cleanest fossil fuel available for power generation today. And a number of countries in the Americas may have shale gas resources. If developed, shale gas could make an important contribution to our region's energy supply, just as it does now for the United States. Hi, not me, not me, Dynamo. But I'm not done yet. To secure new sources of natural gas for Europe by expanding cooperation with partners in the Middle East and the Caspian region, including Azerbaijan. A new supply route through Georgia, Turkey, and into Europe, the Southern Gas Corridor, will help open the European market uh, to more diverse energy sources. Good. A nod as good as a week to a blind back. This one, which runs on natural gas, can help us make the transition from coal fired power to clean energy sources. This jet engine runs on natural gas. Tanzania happens to have natural gas, so this another. Example of a good win-win strategy. You don't sell something. Selling, selling. Very good, very good. With this enormous uh, growth in natural gas, the United States, for the first time in many years, is actually exporting energy. Not a me, not snatch. Not a me, not snatch. Not snatch. Say no more. <laughs> she says she's currently undecided. Ms. Belair has a question on fracking, which for viewers is a process of oil and gas drilling that's led to a significant increase in American energy production and jobs, but also raises serious environmental concerns. The state of Oklahoma used to register two earthquakes a year. Last year it registered 585, that's almost three earthquakes a day. And all those had a magnitude of more than 3.0. Uh, this year already, as of September, it has registered 600 earthquakes. If we look over the years, the situation is even more drastic. In 2009, it registered 20 earthquakes, 2010, 35, 2011, 64, 2012, 35, and in 2013, another spike of 109 earthquakes. Now, the culprit here is quite simple. The water, which is being injected into the wells during the process of uh, fracking. Damn! Fracking can lead to environmental pollution, including, but not limited to, the contamination of a water supply. Pennsylvania is already at the center of a natural gas boom, but as Tony Guida reports, the drilling in one town may be damaging the water. The gas doesn't always come out the tube that you put it in, or the opening you put it in, sometimes it comes out in somebody's sink. Methane in some of the water wells, enough for ignition at the tap, made famous by a scene from the documentary Gasland. So you told me this morning when I was sitting here talking to you that you would drink this water, right? So would you drink it? Yes or no? Certainly. 
Oh, you can't, you can't answer any questions? For all the good the oil industry has done for the state, it has not been without cost. For a start, it's taken a massive toll on their environment. Last year, the New York Times found that since 2006, 18 million gallons of oils and chemicals had spilled, leaked, or misted into the air. Do you support fracking? Secretary Clinton. You know, I don't support it when any locality or any state is against it, number one. It's an yada, yada, yada. I don't support it when the uh, release of methane or contamination of water is present. Yada, yada, yada. I don't support it, number three, unless we can require that anybody who fracks has to tell us exactly what chemicals they are using. So by the time we get through all of my conditions, I do not think there will be many places in America where fracking will continue to take place. And uh, yada, yada, yada. And I think that's the best approach because right now, there are places where fracking is going on that are not sufficiently regulated. So first, we've got to regulate everything that is currently underway, and we have to have a system in place that prevents further fracking unless conditions like the ones that I just mentioned are met. Yada, yada. Yada what? Yada, yada, yada. <laughs> Senator Sanders, you... you, my, you answer, my answer is a lot shorter. No, I do not support fracking. Son of a bitch. 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 Gun. <laughs> you thought I was going to say uh, son of a bitch, didn't you? <laughs> and by the way, by the way, Anderson, I'm glad you raised the issue of climate change because media doesn't talk enough about what the scientists are telling us. And that is if we don't get our act together, the planet that we're going to leave our children may not be healthy and habitable. My conclusion is that no healthy community on this planet would allow hydraulic factory because it is not safe. It is impossible to do even with the best rules and regulations. And in Pennsylvania, there are now over 200 cases where the uh, Pennsylvania Department of Environmental Protection has found uh, contamination. I have introduced the most comprehensive led climate change legislation in the history of the Senate, which, among other things, calls for a tax on carbon. It's cool. We could if we did this. And then the countries that don't produce carbon dioxide, as much carbon dioxide would have a, a, a tariff or a fee on the goods that were, that were being imported that had a high carbon output. Massive investments in energy efficiency, wind, solar, and other sustainable energy. We, we believe very strongly that renewable energy is green, renewable energy is clean, but renewable energy is also a way through which India's energy poverty and India's energy security problem can be solved. To Secretary Clinton's point, there are a number of Democratic governors in many states who say that fracking can be done safely. Friendly business climate in North Dakota. The taxes and insurance rates are low. The regulatory environment is very reasonable. North Dakotans are friendly toward this and will work hard to help their employers be successful. And that it's helping their economy. Are they wrong? Yes. He's making North Dakota sound like a magical pro-business utopia, like Willy Wonka's chocolate factory, which, come to think of it, had about the same safety record as North Dakota's oil fields. Industry said last night here in Michigan that the rules here would prevent what happened to us in, Al in Rosebud, Alberta, because there are no coal formations here. That's ridiculous, because nobody knows what they're going to end up doing deep or shallow in Michigan. Look, Secretary Clinton, and I've said this before, and I admit it, she has the support of all the governors, Democratic, all the senators, all the congressmen. I don't. I am not part of that establishment. I happen to be a member of the Environmental Committee. I have talked to scientists all over the world. Every scientist you talk to, I don't care what their particular concentration, if they know anything about science, they're not hopeful. And what they are telling me, if we don't get our act together, this planet could be five to 10 degrees warmer by the end of this century. Oh, no, 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 but what happened in that terrible instance over there? Those, that horrible pollution that happened there, that'll never happen. But it always seems to. Where's the model for this? 
collect using uh, wealth from the public and redistributing it to the people? Well, I don't know. Don't they call that socialism? This is a crisis we've got to deal with now.